that's okay. And turn that on there. Is that working? Um, it should be working. What's going on? Ooh, why isn't this coming up on there? Do me, come on, you. Right, back. Go. Why doesn't that work? No idea. Uh, ah, there we go. I've got some picture. That's promising. Hmm. No, oh, I don't know what's going on tonight. There's something very funny going on here. Let me just move that over there a bit. Oh, I don't like it. Everything's going haywire. Hmm. We just do this and do that. I don't want to do that. I want to do that. Move me over there a bit. How's that? Right. I think we're working. If we are, somebody say something or do hit the thumb up thing or something, then I know somebody can hear me, see me, and we're working. So good evening, if we're there. I think we are. The microphone was going wonky earlier on. Microsoft very kindly updated my computer again when I specifically told them not to. But that's Microsoft for you. Why do we deal with them? I do not know. Nightmare. Anyway, somebody let me know we're working. I think it's working. Things are chiming at me this end. Let me turn that off. Ah, evening. Ah, evening, Paul. Good. Right, we are working. Excellent. That's good. Sorry about that. I don't know what was going on. As I say, Microsoft, in their infinite wisdom, turned my computer on in the middle of the night and decided to update things despite me turning every possible update off. Uh, unfortunately, on this computer, because most people use Windows, I have to use Windows to check everything works. So uh, there we are, much as I hate it. Anyway, we're working. So good evening, all. Um, I, as I mentioned on Friday night, the videos I took Friday all disappeared on my camera card. I've not been having a good weekend of technology. So. Yesterday I was out all day with the kids, my nephew and niece took them out, had a jolly day. So today I've been reshooting all the videos of all the machines. So I now have all the video footage on the computer ready to edit, which I'll be doing later on tonight and tomorrow. Um, in the meantime, I've also uploaded another, <clears throat> I think there's 13 or 14 machines. Um, new stuff for sale, if you go to the currently for sale bit. There's a whole load of new stuff on there. So I've been busy with that. Um, now a lot of these haven't got full details yet, so I just haven't got around to um, uploading the you know the details, but uh, the basics there, what they are and what coin they're on, etc. But I'll do better condition reports and whatnot um, tomorrow. Um, and the videos will be coming shortly on those. Um, now. What I've also done, as I mentioned before, because when we, the first batch of machines we had, there was, um, I think it was, th was a three duchess as well, there was some four aristocrat bandits. So as it happens now, I've got three um, Buckleys and four high tops. Well, actually there's one Seeger high top and three Mills high tops. So like with the Mills high tops, if you click on one of those, like this one, what I've done is I'll stagger the end times out a week apart. So if you scroll down, you see this first one <clears throat> ends on 4th July, the next one, 11th of July, and the next one on the 18th of July. So obviously you make an offer on the first one if you're interested in a high top. If you don't get it, you'll know in time to put an offer on the next one and so on. And you haven't got the worry of um, making an offer on all three. And, and potentially buying all three when you only want one. Um, so hopefully that gets around that issue. Um, obviously, if you come out to view, you can come and view them all at the same time. They're all here. Anything that's on the website, once it's listed on the website, it's here to view. So um, if it's there on the for sale pages, you know it's here and you can come and have a look at it. 
um, no problem. Um, now, the heads up for viewing this, this coming week, Monday, I'm here in Cambridge. Tomorrow, isn't it? Tuesday, I'm probably going to be in Leamington, I think, by the looks of things. So if anyone has stuff to drop off um, to sell and want to drop it off in Leamington, if that's easy for you, then just send me a message. I'm not sure what time, because I've got a few jobs to do around town. So um, we can arrange a suitable time to meet up at the Elephant House on Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, I'll probably be back here in Cambridge. Thursday, I'm not sure about yet. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I should be here. Um, if you want to come across the weekend to view stuff. Um, then next, I think it's next weekend, the 26th and 27th, we well, won't be able to do viewing. Um, am I, have I got the right weekend there? Um, yeah, the 26th and 27th. Because um, I've got a little s s stage and property job to do on um, the Saturday. And family stuff on the Sunday. It's just all happened that weekend as it happens. Um, hopefully I'll be done in time to do the uh, Sunday night chat thing. So if you want to come and look at any of the stuff that finishes on the 27th, come, don't leave it till that last weekend because um, you won't be able to come on that weekend. Um, so that was that. Um... I was going to tell you something. Can't remember what. Ah, yes, the bimbo. Uh, Paul Mitchell who bought this one. The last one we sold. Uh, it's kindly sent me some photographs of it. Now it's all restored and a little bit of video of it running as well. So I'll put all that together and stick that up on the website in the next uh, day or two when I get five minutes. Made a great job of it. Works lovely now. So. Um, that one's nicely restored. And I'll get this one videoed hopefully tomorrow or Tuesday, the one that's for sale at the moment. Um, so that one's sort of just about running. Again, just wants a little bit of restoring, but it's basically, well, it is all there. Just needs a bit of TLC, like all of us, really. So we'll get that sorted. Um, I don't think I've got anything else to tell you at the moment. So any questions from anybody? Hope you've all been having a jolly weekend in the sunshine. Um, oh, does anybody know? I must find out what a proper name for these um, this Buckley Bandit is. Anybody happens to know what its proper name is? Let me know. <clears throat> I've just got it down as unknown name at the minute. Um, and uh, these Jubilees, which I always call the diamond front, I'm not actually sure if it has a proper name. The one with five diamonds on, there's a six diamond front as well, isn't there? As I nickname them, um, which is the um, let's have a look, Jubilee. Uh, the six diamond in front. This one is kind of um flatter one. That one has six diamonds on, and the one we've got in for sale has the stripy, the nicer front really, the stripy casting with the five diamonds on. I'm not sure which is which come before the other, or what the proper names are. So if anybody knows. Um, let me know and I can update the website with that information. Double jackpot, this one we've got in as well. Um, all restored on sixpenny. Works nice. And what else was I going to say? Something. Um, oh yeah, the little whizball machine. Somewhere here we've got a picture of um, when it came out of John Morley's. It's this one here. This is as it was when we sold it back in 2015 when I sold all John Morley's collection. It was a bit of a state covered in grungy paint and muck. 
actually found it in the bottom of another machine. Um, when I collected all the stuff from Anne, I didn't uh, didn't even realise we had it. I think it was in the bottom of a viewer or something, if I remember rightly. Opened the cash box, big cash box, and there it was, stuffed away. So it's a little bonus machine, sweet little things. So that has now been all restored. Um, and looks like that works great. Old penny play. There's original artwork in it. They're good. I've operated a few of these when I used to operate. They're good little things. A, they don't pay out, which is a great money taker. And B, they're just a nice, dinky little game. You can pop them in anywhere. And um, because it's such a small play field, the balls whiz around really fast, which people seem to like. It's quite a, quite a natty little game. A very handy little bit for anyone who's operating. That's that one. Ah, well, there's also a Jubilee Mark One with four diamonds on the front. We'll send you over an image. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I don't know a lot about the Jubilees. I was looking all the um, aristocrats really to see. I thought, oh, there must be an Australian site with loads and loads of information on but i couldn't find one when i had a look um so i only sort of you know know what what we know really but if anyone knows of a good good resource books i don't think there's any books as far as i know australian books um but if there is let me know four diamond front yeah i don't think we've got any have we ever sold any four diamond fronts let's have a look Let's go back to Jubilees, Jubilees. Um, classic frat front, what have I called that one? No, that's the later one. Um, Jubilee, let's go down here again. Uh, Jubilee, it's Golden Jokers. I know what River the Air is, Golden Jokers. Oh, that's the late one again. Um, let's have a look on. All five diamond, six diamond. Mm, no, I don't. I haven't. Don't know the four diamond front one then. That'll be interesting to see. I've I've sort of guessed at these dates. I don't know what the dates are. Again, if anyone knows accurate dates for when these were first made. Um, you know, there's all this kind of information where I gradually build up over time. Um, as I was saying to a couple of people um, last weekend, everybody knows a bit, but most collectors are keen on one particular thing. It might be a particular make or a particular type of machine or a particular uh, era or whatever. And um, a lot of people know a lot more than they realise they know, if that makes sense. Um, and I'm sure collectively, between all of us, we know an awful lot of stuff. So it's just kind of pull it all together. Uh, same profile as the five diamond, but has a viewing window for the coin and a coin reject in the front casting. All oh, right. So the same as uh, this one. Same profile as the five diamond, the viewing window for the coin. All right, up here somewhere. And the coin reject. Yeah, I think these just reject out into the payout tray, if I remember rightly. If there's a issue with the coin, you press a little button and it just comes out into the payout tray. You get a coin reject in the front casting, like on the governor. Um, uh, the governor, we've got a governor sale, haven't we? Yeah, here the coin reject and the governor, which is always a real pain to try and get the coin out of. Especially if it's a larger coin, and one piece is not quite so bad, but um you get something big like a shilling, trying to get your finger in to get a shilling out is really hard work. This the club master doesn't have a coin reject, I mean it does, doesn't it? Clubmaster reject is here, little 
reject cup on the front casting. Nice machines. I bought one of these years ago. In fact, I think possibly the first one we sold in the auction, I think was might have been my one for 2014. Was that one my one? Could have been, I can't remember. And I kind of regretted selling it. It was a nice, such a nice looking thing. It's one of those that sort of came and went and it, I didn't realise how relatively rare they were at the time. This one we got in is a nice one. <clears throat> All original. That'd be interesting. What did the last one make? We sold the last one made 440. 740 the highest price we got, 2017. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Um, anything else I was going to tell you about? Can't think of anything offhand. Hmm. Nope, can't think of anything offhand. Uh, any um, any questions of anybody on these um, latest lot of machines I've uploaded? Anything you need to know about them, and I can obviously update the descriptions um, tomorrow when I do them. I think all the high tops are on sixpence. The Riviera is on um, new Tempe two pools. I'm guessing it's probably on shilling. You could go back to shilling if you wanted. Uh, the cigarette blender, that's uh, all its original paint, which is nice. This hasn't got its, um, you know, the actual column that holds the cigarette packets, so it's just like two kind of U-shaped bent bits of tin. So it's not a difficult thing to make, really. Other than that, it's all there. It's nice that it's not been repainted. It's pretty good, um, pretty good nick as well, actually. They're usually really rusty, or they've been repainted or messed around with. So um, that's quite nice as they go. Uh, the Furman front bandit, uh, this one. I haven't actually pulled the mech out of this yet to see if it's got a jackpot in it or not, because the jackpot's kind of got like a false picture in with coins on, so I'm guessing it hasn't got a jackpot in it, but I'll check. Um, I haven't videoed this one yet, so I'll obviously pull the mech out to do the video. These who don't, if you don't know, are um, you know, American Mills poinsettias as usually. And then the bottom, the this casting, bottom casting is Furmans of Nottingham, the English conversion. So I'm not sure if they use their own jackpot or just a standard Mills jackpot in there. I'm guessing it'd be a standard Mills jackpot. I can't see any real, why they'd make their own. It's a big, big of a complicated thing to make. Anyway, I'll check on that one. Uh, any more for any more? Any questions of anybody on these things? I don't think I've ever put any more advertising stuff up yet. I don't think I have yet. No, just those signs I put up on Friday. Um, there's supposed to be some more signs coming in the way. There's a few arcade signs as well to do um, later in the week. Um, there's a nice pair of signs about the yeah, A-Big, which say um, mini arcade painted ones. The pointy hand, which says um, fun this way, I think. 
And there's another one we should change here or something. Oh dear, excuse me. Um, and then there's some bandit stands, you know, like the cast iron um, table bases, which make good bandit stands. I think there's six of those, I think. So I'll get those on. Um, some spare parts, which I'm working on the spare parts section. Uh, I've got uh, the Jennings Governor top casting, which has been re-chromed. Uh, there's a Jennings Governor head. Um, cash boxes for Mills or Sega high tops and things they fit. Um, there's some Sega bits. Um, there's some bags of coins to sort out as well, which um, I need to do a coin section on the website, so I'll sort that out. <clears throat> there's a couple of people have asked about getting coins for machines. Um, especially some of the bandits we've got in at the moment, which are on... Um, um, some of them are on American coin. So I'll sort that out. Uh, do the high tops have original back doors and locks? They have all got back doors and locks. They're all restored, ready to go. Um, I'm not sure if they're all originals or if they're, if they're new back doors, to be perfectly honest. But obviously you will see once I do the 360 spin on the videos. Because um, the high tops I've not videoed yet. I've videoed everything else. Well, not everything else, but from, from all the stuff that was on Friday, which I had to re-video because all the videos got lost. I redid all that lot today. Um, it takes a while to do them because by the time I've lifted the machine off the turntable, filmed it spinning round, taking the mech out and filmed the inside of the case and filmed the mech, put it all back together again, moved it, filmed playing it, put that one out of the way, got the next one, etc. It takes, you know, a good half an hour or more to film each machine. So by the time you've done 10 machines, that's the best part of the day gone. So then they all have to be edited, obviously. Um, so it's not a, not a quick job. Um, I think there was supposed to be uh, there was supposed to be one or two um, original Mills doors coming from spares from someone. Someone I spoke to a couple of weeks ago said they were going to bring some in. Who it was? Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that. <clears throat> and someone asked about mechs as well. I think there's three. I think there's three Sega mechs and a. I think that might be Jennings, not sure. I'm, I don't know if they're 100% complete or not, the next either. Um, so they just literally came in for the auction we were going to do nearly two years ago. Got stored away and I haven't seen them since, but they're there. So um, I'll try and bring them back on from the elephant house on Tuesday if I can get to them to bring them back and um, get them sorted out. Um, yes, yeah, I think the um, a couple of these machines are on American coin. The black chair is on ten cent, isn't it? Uh, yep. And the extraordinary is on five cent, and I think the phantom's five cent as well. Yes, it is. Um, so there's a few coins with each one, but not enough to fill the machines up. So. Um, we'll look to get some some coins in the guy who used to put coins into the auctions all the time so um, there'll be some soon I bet to think I've got some somewhere I can sell because I haven't got any American coin machines anymore <clears throat> I should dig them out and sell them hmm Job for self. 
I'm sure I've got some other coins. Note, note for self, American coins, US coins. Um, sort and list for sale. Ah, right, where were we? Any more um, any more questions of anybody? Anybody desperate to come and buy something? Desperate to sell something? Do let me know. Um, as I said earlier, for anyone who missed it, um, viewing um, this coming week, Monday, tomorrow is good. Um, not Tuesday, because Tuesday I'll be in Leamington Spring. Bar. So if anybody has stuff for sale, they want to drop off in Leamington, if that's easier, uh, let me know. We can meet at the Elephant House sometime on Tuesday. Wednesday, I'll probably be back here in Cambridge. Thursday, I'm not sure about at the moment. Friday, Saturday, Sunday should all be okay for viewing. Um, but next weekend, the 26th and 27th, I won't be able to do viewing because I've got stuff on. Um, but in that week, should be fine. I think every day that week should be fine, but just not the 26th, 27th. And some some machines, I don't think any of the signs, I think some of the signs might finish then, but some of the machines, this first batch of machines, or second batch of machines, I should say, um, are finishing on the 27th. So if you want to come and have a look at those before making an offer, don't leave it till the last minute. Which I know everybody likes to do. So just a little heads up there. Uh, there's a couple more bits coming next week. I've got a um, Parker's Carousel, a really nice one. Um, that hopefully gone Monday or Tuesday. And there's a, um, a La Ronde. I haven't seen for years. An electromechanical, like a spinning disc arrow thing. Lights up from behind. All worked perfectly. Very nice condition. I'm not actually sure who made that. It's very Jamieson-ish. Don't know if they made it or not. There's no badge on it. Another one of those for anyone who knows who made the La Ronde. Um, let me know. I haven't sold one for years. I did find an old picture. I sold one many years ago. Might even be the same one. Uh, right, have we got any more questions? Let's have a look down here. Um, no, oh, a very quiet lot tonight. Must be something good on television. Uh, somebody asked the other day about if any of the high tops that were had for mic occasion. Yes, they, one of them does. Um, which one is it? Uh, yes, if you go on to the Mills High Tops, the third one, the third one down for sale, the one that ends on the 18th of July, that's for Mica Case. I think that's one of the original paint on the cabinet as well. The other, the other two have been restored, repainted. But the one with the full Mica side cabinet <clears throat> is has its original paint on it, which is pretty rare. And in good nick as well, but doesn't want you know you'd, you'd ruin it by stripping it and repainting it. Unfortunately, somebody probably will do, but for those of you who've got a bit of taste and want an original one, that's a good one to buy. Again, works perfectly. Escalator jackpot, etc. Tea left over, should have made a bigger cup of tea. Mm. Uh, right, anybody? Um, oops. Yeah. Um, anybody have any more questions? Comments? Uh, ideas. I was going to do. I'm going to look at doing a um, 
a bit of a survey thing via the um, email newsletter I send out every now and again. Um, because there's lots of things, lots of features I want to do. And lots of things kind of half built. Um, and it's a job we need to know which one to concentrate on and finish first. So um, might perhaps do a little survey and see what people you know, think ought to be the priority to do next. Because I could spend, you know, half a week programming something that not many people are really bothered about and something else ought to be getting done and and isn't. So it'd be good to know what people think is the next most important thing to do really. So I'll perhaps try and do that and get organised later in the week. Uh, any more for any more? If not, we might have a nice early night and I can get on with something. Or have a cup of tea. Mm. Um, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum I say, is anybody still watching? Uh, still 11 people still watching, apparently. Um, yeah, there's nothing much else for me to report at the moment, so it's down to it if anybody else has anything to say. Or if not, it'll be a short, sharp one, and I'll be back on the next live stream, probably be on Friday with whatever new stuff's coming during the week. It's a little bit of a run through. Uh, as I say, I was hoping to get one of the other sections up by the weekend, by in, you know, the end of the next week. Um, probably the spare parts or the fairground art section. They've both been worked on at the minute. Um, so you can concentrate on finishing one of them off really and getting it getting it finished and done. Um, and what was the other thing we we're working on? Oh yeah, like um, uh, I did something with the other machine, related machine stuff like arcade signs and machine stands and things. So perhaps I need to be a separate page somehow. I'll have to think about how to do that. Uh, spares would be great if you get that up running. Yeah, I think that's probably what we've got to concentrate on. Um, because lots of people keep asking about spares. I think people are um, desperate to finish off some lockdown projects and they're all you know, missing one, that one bit to finish the machine off or whatever. So um, I just have to uh, make a concerted effort to get that done for, for next weekend. I say there are a few bits and bobs arrived already, probably I don't know, 20 or 30 bits, I should think, here already. Um, I'm sure I've got some spare parts knocking about that I don't need as well. I can probably add on to get the ball rolling. Spare parts, uh, oh, yes, another another spare parts um, request. Spare parts it is. And then hopefully there'll be a sudden influx of more stuff once everyone's fixed, got their spare parts and fixed their machines. And they can send them in for sale maybe. That'll be good. Uh, so yes, there's another couple of machines coming in next week. Um, Sign-wise, um, I'm not sure about. Is there any more enamel signs or anything on, the, on their way? Books, I've got a whole load of books to do. Um, <clears throat> but at the moment they're on subjects that, you know, obviously the main part of the website that we've got up and running first is the coin-op section. So I've done the coin-op books. Don't forget people there are, I think they again next week, is it? First batch of coin-op books. 
Um, let's have a look. Category books, books. Um, when did these finish? Sunday the 20th they finish. Next Sunday then, yeah. So don't forget to check out these books. Um, but there's also fairground books to do, loads of steam books, automata books, mechanical music, etc. Um, so I'll do that when I've got time, but at the moment obviously there's nobody much on the website for fairground stuff because the fairground section isn't up and running, so I didn't think that was a priority at the moment. I don't think people are going to sign up just to buy a book. Um, so once we've got a bit of fairground art going, I'll do the books as well to go with it. Uh, will we be able to place wanted ads for spares as well? Yes, is the answer to that. You will. It will be done in a different way. So because um, because often a spare will fit dozens of different machines. So for example, um, let's say you wanted a payout knob for an all win. Uh, you know, what? which all win page would you put that advert on? Because there's hundreds of all wins. So it will be done in a different way. So it will be... A, a, It'll probably just be one page or two pages for spares a page of all spares for sale and a page of all the bits that are wanted i would think it's probably how we'll do it so we'll do that to start with and then see how that goes um, whereas obviously machines are a bit different because you can go to a, sp a specific machine if you want a specific all win or a specific bandit or whatever it is you want then we've got a, a page for that particular machine but because spares are more generic or fit many different machines um, we need to do it in a different way But again, everything, you know, once, once the spares are here, we'll photograph everything um, so you know what bit it is. And um, yeah, put once up for any, any bits and bobs you want. So have a think in the meantime, in the next week or so, make a list of all those projects in the shed that need a bit, write down what bit you need. And um, hopefully we'll match up some people who've got bits. People who need bits. I probably need all sorts of bits myself. I must, uh, don't know when I'm going to get around to restoring half of my machines. One day, a retirement project. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll do, yes. Yes, 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 do that. That's good. Uh, any more for any more? So, yeah, these books um, all finish next weekend, next Sunday night. Uh, good books. These two German books, don't be put off if you haven't seen them, the fact that they're written in German, but they are full of great photographs. I'll just run the little video. I just did a little video quick flick through with the... Let me see if I run this one, what I mean. Um, just to give you an idea for those of you who don't know the books, if you've not seen them before. <clears throat> but fantastic photographs in them. Of all sorts of stuff, really. European stuff, American stuff. English stuff, um, obviously mostly European because they're a European book, but there you go, English twins. Um, American jukeboxes, etc. That one, so it's a good book. And this one, Quick play through of that. I think was this one the Gorzorn collection mostly. I think this book was done for. I think they did it when there was an exhibition on. There's a big Gorzorn collection in um, Germany. So there's a lot of, lot of text up and loads of photographs again. Some really lovely stuff that you don't see very often. <clears throat> there you 
go. So I've got brine stuck in there and pinballs, American stuff, yeah, all sorts really. Jukeboxes, like the bimbo, I think that was just flipped past, funnily enough. Um, these other books, I'm sure you all know. This one, this drop coin here, is um, signed by. I think I'm sure this one's signed by Ken Rubin. This one. One of the kind of earlier books, 1979, that was first published. So kind of that'd be, you know, pretty much the beginning of the hobby, as it were. Slot Machine Gun Parade, that's a great one for bandits. Nice big colourful plates in there. Great one if you're looking to it, if you're restoring an uh, older bandit, don't know what the colour scheme should be. It's a really good reference book for that. As you can see, as we get to the bandit pages, got lots of big American floor stuff in, but... You'll see all those sort of... 30s and 40s, Millses and Jennings and etc. All nicely restored in their correct colour schemes. That's good. Uh, good reference book, that one. So, yeah, don't forget about those. Um, over there. I'll just go back to here. Uh, any more questions? If not, we'll probably call it an early night. And there's what is there still a dozen people watching? So, oh yeah, give us a thumbs up. I'll keep meaning to mention that, aren't they? On underneath the video, stick, click the thumbs up thing. Apparently, eventually, if we get enough thumbs up, it's the um, YouTube thing lets other collectors, you know, pops up on their thing, so they find the videos which in turn then hopefully finds more collectors, so which is obviously more people to buy your stuff if you're selling it, and more people to sell stuff if you want to buy stuff. So that's what it's all about, it? trying to find more, trying to find more, more collectors, get them all together, because ultimately it benefits everybody. So give us one of those. I've no idea how many thumbs up you need to, to do anything, to do any good as it were, but. We'll try it and see. Hundreds probably, but four. I oh, thank you very much to four people who have done that. That's a good start. Four out of twelve. That's only a third of you though who are watching, so you know, not very good. Mm -hmm. uh, any more questions for anybody? Otherwise, we'll call it a night. Let's just have a look quickly at the wants. I know there's no wants in the science section, but there's a new coin op want. Let's just have a quick look there to see what people are waving money about for. Uh, Octopus, Easy Push. Uh, the Penny Special. What's that? Oh, Bell Fruit. Anybody's got any of those? The, those are the Bell Fruits. They had the um, Jennings mechanisms in them. Uh, like Jennings Governor, Jennings um, Chiefs, etc. We've got somebody looking for one of those. Uh, Mutoscope, anybody on any mutoscopes? I've got to dig one of my mutoscopes out. There's a couple of mutoscope reels to sell. Um, I haven't got any machines, but uh, I'm going to put the reels in one of mine and film them. Let's get around to doing that. Um, I think the other push moth that this was wanted from before, I think, yeah. Who made that pusher? Anybody know? Uh, I'm just looking at the logo. I think it's Jameson, isn't it? Let's, let's get a um, better. Oh, JWS. JWS? Hmm. It's JWS. I'm not sure. Anybody know who made this pusher? Let me know. That's not the Jameson logo, is it? Whose logo is that? I'm not sure. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, somebody wants one of those. If anybody's got one.
Uh, let's have a look at Richard. Any chance you could put a quick pic of the Parker's carousel on Instagram? Uh, yes, we'll do. Hopefully that'll be tomorrow. I'll do that. And the uh, Laurent machine. Plug that in, light it up and get that on as well. Uh, Paul, just off South End. Just off South End. Just off South End. Oh, JW was based in South End. Oh, right. Ah. Do you know what the JWS stands for? JWS, South End. Get out of that. Yeah, if anyone who's got one, we've got somebody looking to buy it. Sold that one twenty seventeen. We still haven't managed to find a swinging swinger. That's Brenko machine. Paul, I do, I'll look it up later. Thank you very much. Jay do a south end. Excellent, there'll be a little bit more info on the website, that's what we're all about. Yeah, so if anybody's got any of these they want to sell, then get in touch. Uh, and if you haven't figured out you have to do the wanted adverts, just go to the help and put, um, which is help with buying under there. Um, place a wanted ad, tells you how to do it there, but the gist of it is, go to the machine, since most of you here are slotties. Um, let's say I want to buy a, I don't know, um, um, Brian's pyramid, shall we say? So we go to the coin up bit, find the pyramid, so we go by maker, B for Brian's, Brian's, uh, scroll down the pyramid, we'll go down to the bottom to show all, all Brian's machines if you like. There we go, pyramid, there we are. So if you want to buy one, just click on the place of wanted ad button and stick in there what sort of money you'd be willing to pay for one that doesn't commit you to that fixed price but it's just you know it gives a an idea to anybody who's thinking of selling what you would be prepared to pay so i hope you tempt them to put one on the market but obviously there's no point putting all oh, ten thousand pounds just to try and get one to to bring in because you know if somebody's expecting to get ten thousand pounds when you put your proper offer in of 1200 quid or whatever they're not going to sell it to you for 10 for less than 10 grand are they so be sensible with it but that's how it works and then once you can edit it and etc they appear in your accounts this is my um test account page and i put some more adverts in there so under you want to add tab um these things and again you can um, alter the um, you know the make them prepared to pay you just click on the buttons and change it it's all pretty obvious really so that's how that works um any more any more for any more oh we've got six thumbs ups thanks you everybody that's good uh if not it's almost nine o'clock we'll call it a night at nine o'clock shall we so that gives you three whole minutes if you want to ask anything or say anything or got an idea, or suggestion, or a moan, or a groan, or an ache, or a pain. Or anything else to say. If not, we'll... Um, 
all go on a merry way and I should get on with some work. And we'll catch up again on Friday, Friday night. So say viewing this coming week, Monday's good, Wednesday's probably okay. Um, <clears throat> and the weekend should be fine. But next weekend, the 26th, 27th, I can't do. So if you're planning to come and look at any of the stuff that's finishing on the 27th, don't leave it until the last minute. Um, because you won't be able to come and see it. So the stuff finishing, the books all finish on, the books that are up at the moment, the coin-up books all finish next weekend, the 20th. And on the slot machines, um, this first lot up to the extraordinary, I think. So the oldest lot on there, I think they all finish on the 27th. I need to do, I'll do something on this page eventually so they you know, light up in with a red border or something if they're about to finish or something. Just to give you a, a reminder. Uh, right, any more? No, no more questions. So I think that's it. I should carry on. So yes, have a look at the Instagram thing. If you haven't followed us on there for quick snaps of things, if you go on the latest news page, which is under the categories, I'm sure you all know by now, um, in the little news article, there's a link there to our Instagram. If I just bring that up. Uh, and that's just where I can put quick snaps of things um, as stuff comes in before I've had time to take the proper photograph and edit it nicely and everything. Just a quick snap of stuff as it comes off the truck, as it were, so you can see what's coming in um, within the next few days. Like these I did Friday, I think, and, uh, you know, so the pictures are all up there now and so on. So I think everything on here so far is all up now properly. Uh, yep. So that's a useful little tool. So, yep, go over to there. Or if you're on Instagram already, it's just colcon.uk as our um, Instagram name, whatever you call it. I'm not big on social media, as you can tell, but uh, I'll try my best. Mm. Right, <clears throat> that's it. I think everybody, everyone's had enough. All right, I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. And I will see you all on Friday, if not before, with hopefully some more goodies by then. So, see you all then. Bye-bye. <laughs>